Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Epsarik, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So right now, we're going to be raiding this base named Player8490. And I've done a little bit of research there on YouTube. And by the looks of it, this base is going to have a lot of and a lot of chests. But again, I have zero idea what kind of loot we're going to get inside of it. So we are already inside of his base, and this dude doesn't have any chopper. That's always sad. I always prefer raids when a dude has a chopper, because most of the time, when somebody has a chopper, you're always getting a better loot. So I'm going to place my C4 somewhere over here on the door. I'm not really sure if you are getting less noise if you explode a door or if you explode a wall, but I don't know. But by the looks of it, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, we have. Oof, I almost messed that up, guys. Oh my goodness. I thought, okay, so this is where I was supposed to place my C4. I thought I have to place it on the down. Okay, I almost messed it up. Imagine if there was another wall and I didn't do proper research. I would have just lost. This is so awesome that this dude doesn't have any other walls, but whatever. Let's go. Let's pick up this generator. We're gonna steal it back home. Maybe one day these generators are gonna be useful. Maybe they are not. And after this raid, I will try to go and search for some more dungeons for some more basements because I've heard that now you can defeat the lurker or whatever his name is. I totally don't remember, but you can use your torch inside of the dungeons and some zombies are gonna run away. At least that boss. I didn't even know that the boss exists, but you guys told me that that boss has like 800 health and you can, you don't even have to fight him. You just have to use the torch. So I would love to test that out. I would love to see how that works. And again, I'm really glad the developers actually showed that because not a lot of people are using torches inside of the dungeons. Some people were disappointed that, you know, developers like reveal that little sneak peek that, hey, now you can defeat that boss with a torch. But the point is, who uses torches? Torches are really useless, so I don't think somebody would ever even use a torch in such situation. So whatever, you know what? It would be cool if maybe they gave a torch inside of the dungeon and then people would have figured it out. I think that would have been maybe a better choice. But in any case, now let's damage all of these shells just with three hits. <laughs> So here we go. All of these chests are just one hit away from being destroyed. And I think I'll start chopping them down. And I'm not sure if we are going to get here any good loot. Hopefully these chests aren't empty. And the first chest is already filled with a bunch of garbage. And I got here one electronic circuit. And I'm almost certain that this is going to be my electronic circuit because they stole that electronic circuit from my base. Okay, so inside of the second chest, we are going to get a little bit of tickets. I mean, I'm going to take these orange tickets. And it's like these green tickets as well. And the red ones. If I'm going to get something better, I'm going to get rid of that. But for right now, oh, look at all this meat. That would be cool. I'm probably going to take that to my base to get rid of the beans and stuff like that. So we got here a bunch of stones and let's deal with another wave of zombies now. Okie dokie, wave of zombies is just dead. Well, I gotta heal up a little bit. So let's try to use these uh, juicy steaks to heal up. And I think I'm gonna chop down here another chest and hopefully I will be able to take everything. This was definitely 100% my heat sensor. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I have like probably two stacks of heat sensors at the base. They aren't really that useful besides for recycling. So here we go. Let's chop down this chest. Another wave of zombies is gonna spawn and then I'll have to chop down all of these chests, uh, chests and then troll the big one. Hopefully that is gonna work fine. I'm kind of sad that I chopped down the other chest, not the one that I was supposed to chop down. There's no way I'll be able to lure like that, so I have to make sure that I don't go here in the corner. Otherwise, if I go here in the corner, it will be really hard to escape because if toxic bombs are gonna come, I'm just gonna die from the big one. This is getting a little bit steamy because I do know that it will be hard to deal with the big one. So, so, so. You know what? I'm not even sure what are we gonna steal from the base. Like, I just wanna go and take all of these juicy steaks. I could probably take all so and we could probably do that chopper trick we could die and then spawn back at our base but the point is i do not want to do it i feel that we aren't gonna get anything that's super great here anyways i just want to at least fill up my inventory so i'm gonna fill up now a chopper with these juicy steaks and now i think let's continue our adventures with chopping down chests. hopefully the big one isn't gonna shred me into tiny oh my goodness look at this loot a lot of and a lot of iron this is way better than that than the food raid like i'm gonna get rid of that and i'm gonna rechange stuff in my chopper just like that so my chopper now is full with iron and I think that I'm gonna get rid of a little bit of food because the last thing I need now is food, really. I mean, it's not like the last thing I need is food, but hey, always iron is gonna be more appreciated than that. So I think I'm gonna now chop down here another chest. We're gonna get nothing. So I think the big one is gonna start spawning and I will need to chop all of these chests down and then I have to somehow go and deal with like two toxic abominations and my SWAT set is gonna break. Ugh. Like we could again go on YouTube and do a little bit of research to see better loot in this base but again i don't care about that we got nothing in this box and nothing here in okay we got some gasoline that's cool okay we're gonna take gasoline for the steaks and now after that you know what we're gonna just exit the okay i don't have to go through that side i gotta make sure 
that I don't go to the places that I cannot go to. Okay, we gotta get out of here just like that. Now I have to get rid of these uh, toxic abominations. And I spawn on the very, very down corner. So we gotta go to the very, very top, right? So I'm gonna go like somewhere over here. Here we go, let's heal up and let's go here to the top. So the big one is gonna go shift the way down to me and I'll try to just jump inside of the base and maybe chop down a couple of chests and then I'm gonna loot them. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's a little bit stressful, but I have a little bit of first aid kits and I have my SWAT set. So that should decrease my stuff. The only, the damage, I mean, the only problem that I see right now is that, wait, it would be so cool. Okay, there is no way we'll be able to lure him. Okay, so I'll start chopping these chests at least down, you know. Just at least like that. That's already better than nothing. Here we go, just got one hit. Okay, the toxic bombs. Toxic bombs are a problem. Okay, let's heal up here once again. Definitely don't have to be wasting stuff like that. Well, the big one is gonna come after me here once again. And I chop down three chests. I will be able to definitely loot them. And uh, let's just get out. I think I'm gonna eat some meat if I have it in my inventory. This is definitely a pretty stressful raid, but this is what I love about raids. This is a fun raid. Like seriously, this is what's fun about raids. Am I right? Well, I'm gonna get rid of this Glock. Let's take that. And I guess let's get back inside of this base and I'll try to run. Once I get inside of it and I'll chop down some more chests and then I'll just open them up one by one. So here we go. Can I activate the sprint skill? Here we go. I just activated here the sprint skill. Let's just roam back in inside and I'll start chopping down the chest from this side, baby. Boom, boom. Boom. Now I'll try to just troll the big one. Here we go. I got one more hit. Two hits. Just healed up. And now what I have to do is just escape this base and restore my sprint skill. And then I'll be able to open up a couple of more chests. Well, here we go. The big one is coming after me. Gonna exit the base. Well, so far it's going pretty good. I think I should start looting the chests. I'm coming back inside of the base, but I don't think my sprint skill is reset. So that's a little bit sad. I think I ran too early. Without the sprint skill, it's gonna be a bit harder. Because look at that. The big one is already here. So I I think I'll just jump down here a couple of more chests, you know, like at least this, this here we're gonna heal up now, gonna roam around, gonna do one more heal now, and I have the sprint skill for the next time, cool. Okay, the big one does already 46 damage, and next hit he's gonna do 48 damage, and there's still so many chests to check, I don't know how we are gonna be checking them, it is going to be really, really tough, and plus my set is breaking, I think we should start opening up chests, because with each hit he definitely does more and more damage, I think I shouldn't be worrying about, okay, let's activate the sprint skill, let's start running, okay, there is the toxic bomb, I think dealing with these toxic bombs right now would be better, I activate Activated my sprint skill, kind of wasted it. I'm trying to deal with this Toxic Bomb at the same time and trolling the big one around the cage here. Okay, Toxic Bomb just need a couple of more hits and we should be done with it. So I'm trying to cut the corners. So here we go, Toxic Bomb is dead. Now my life should be way easier. I just now have to pay attention to the blind one. So here we go, I'm jumping back inside of the base, activating here the sprint skill, running back inside of it and I think I'll start opening up the chest. The big one is already here. So inside of this chest, bunch of coal, a bunch of planks, iron, bricks, one Glock. That's decent. Here we go. Got one hit. I think we still should survive one more hit from him. Okay, so I'm back inside of the base. The big one is literally just behind me. Okay, inside of this chest, bunch of patches, bunch of logs, and this chest is gonna have some oak. So I think I opened all of the chests here, if I'm not mistaken, and he just has their one Glock and some stone and some wood. Right, here we go. Let's heal up now. I'm not sure if I opened up everything, but he has to have some... He has to have one Glock and some wood, so that's what I am gonna take. Well, I made some space in my inventory. This is how I'm gonna just run in back inside of this base and hopefully everything is gonna be fine. This is really stressful. The big one does already like 60 damage or something so I have to basically heal up every single hit otherwise he will shred me into tiny small smithereens. So I'm just gonna get back there to the top. Gonna find that Glock. Have no clue where was it though. Was it over here? Nope. Was it over here? Yes it was and where are the planks bro? Okay. No. Whoa. 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 57. So I'm jumping back inside of this base one more time. Let's start running. Let's Let's activate here the sprint skill. Let's just jump inside of this base and hopefully I just want to find these planks. I'm going to click uh, take all and that's it. Where are these planks? Your charcoals, patches. Dude, where are the planks? Over here. Take, took something. I'm not sure what I took, but that is going to be enough because he already does 63 damage. I literally have to heal every single hit now. I think that is going to be enough. I took most of the stuff. I did take that one more electronic circuit. I don't think I even needed it. So was this base worth it? Totally, 100%. This base gets Cyrex approval. I really, really loved it. It was super interesting to raid. So now let's check how much wood did it get. Well, I got like what? Four extra sacks of wood, one electronic circuit, and we got a bunch of resources. We got a bunch of iron. So I love this kind of raid. Just for 1c4, this was beautiful. 
beautiful because the amount of iron we got, that would take us like literally weeks and weeks to grind. And this way we just got it with one C4. So I totally love this right now. Let's go and search for some dungeons. And also before I go anywhere else, they've added also another small little change to the game. Now, when you are upgrading your guns, you can see here your damage per second. But the point is, I thought that this damage per second is useless because, you know, you can just click here on your Glock and you can multiply these two numbers, you know, like 22 times four. And the number should be 88 damage per second. But when we click here on the Glock, it is 101. So the point is they do not just multiply speed and your damage. They also multiply your crit chance, your crit damage. So this is a very important number. In the beginning, I was really, really quick to judge. I was like, well, what's the point of that number? We can just multiply it ourselves. But look at that. For example, I just want to show you. So here we go. I just want to show you what I'm talking here about. Let's say we have these two mods right now, this thingy and this thingy. And we are when we are switching here to a different mod, the only thing that's changing for us is this crit chance and weight. So by the looks of it, our damage per second shouldn't be changing, but it actually changes because there is like some sort of math involved behind it. And the point is, if we are going to put this mod, we are going to get higher damage per second because we are going to hit more crit chances. So this number shows us that. And this is actually super important because right now, if you want to go and assemble your mods, you don't have to do a lot of research. Just go to your workbench table, like gun modification table, whatever it's called, and just click through all of these and whatever higher number you're going to get, that means this is going to be the best blueprint. Besides, there's one small little tip. Be very careful with your stability because stability is also going to be really important because, for example, I have here this grip mod, but if I'm going to change it to the big barrel, my damage per second stays the same. But as you can see, I'm getting here more damage and my stability just decreases. So this is going to be a pretty bad mod. Don't put your barrel magazine, better put your grip magazine, even though it loses some durability with the grip magazine. But trust me, like the durability just going to give you like extra five or six shots, if not less. So also here for the silencer, when we are changing, it gives us a lot of and a lot of damage per second because our damage boost, we got we get more crit damage. But for some reason, our crit chance drops drastically and our stability drops. So I'm not really sure if it's that worth it to put here the silencer because stability is everything basically. But it says that we're going to get here more damage per second. So I didn't check that out. But the point is, this is a really important update. I definitely spoke here way too much. This is just a super important update. So finally, we got some sort of numbers. We still don't see all the numbers. How much is that crit crit chance? How much is that crit damage? But DPS is really important because it doesn't count only damage and speed. It also counts those crit thingies. That's just what I wanted to show for you. So if you are trying to find the best blueprints, just go through all of those and you're at least going to find something useful there. So I've been roaming around here for 12 years. And finally, after my long, long journey, I found this dungeon. I ran out of all my food. I'm super thirsty. I need some shelter. Hopefully, I will find something cool in this dungeon. But all jokes aside, guys, finally, literally after like whatever, 50 years or something, I finally found one dungeon. I lost all my energy. I lost everything. I'm literally hungry and thirsty. And we found a dungeon. And by the looks of it, this is going to be some new dungeon that I haven't seen uh, there in the past. Well, here we got looted this place. I got here some bandages, stuff like that. So this is, this dungeon looks like it has some sort of a computer. I haven't seen these dungeons in the past. And by the looks of it, I've also seen that some dungeons are going to be chained. So you might also need here a burglar skill to access such dungeons. And I have a feeling that, you know, maybe you need a hacker skill to actually access the dungeon here, but I'm not going to be really sure. But I have here the hacker skill. So wait, if I'm going to click on it, will it just start unlocking? Yes, it just unlocks like that. But does it use the hacker skill? Do you need here the hacker skill to actually unlock this dungeon? That's just mystery. But let's just jump inside. I think it worked. The thing it jumped back. Yeah, we unlocked it. Look at that. I think without the hacker skill, we wouldn't have been able to unlock here this dungeon. I think we need here a hacker skill to unlock it. I think this is going to be my first dungeon here with a hacker skill. So finally, hacker skill is actually useful. And okay, these dudes don't really seem that dangerous, but I'm going to get rid of this Glock now. Let's put on another Glock and let's try to go and talk to these bad boys. We don't have much time. Okay, so what are we going to do? They're coming out. Run. Okay, do I have to kill them? Okay, they just escaped. So am I going to go and fight these dudes myself? Yeah, most likely we're just going to fight them. That's easy peasy. I think these were just some sort of soy boys. I also took here a couple of hatchets and some of these torches. So hopefully these torches are going to be good enough to deal with the lurker or whatever other zombie that is with the boss. So hopefully we're going to find here a boss. I would love to test that out, how it works. Here we go. We kill these zombies and by the looks of it, they don't drop anything else besides rope and other garbage. So you know what? That's not a big deal. Let's open up another door. They're just feasting on this bad boy. Let's go. Let's shred them. They have nothing over here besides just one chest. So let's try to loot the chest and let's see what kind of goodies are we going to get inside. And inside we just got some beans and that's it. I mean some rubber parts, but again, who's going to take that? Let's open up here another door. Okay, some more dudes. They're just fighting this poor woman. Okay, did I just kill her? What? This is so annoying. Why would my guy even do this? Like, why couldn't I save that? It's so annoying. Uh, I literally didn't mean this. I just, or maybe didn't, or maybe 
maybe I didn't even kill her. Maybe these zombies killed her. I don't know, but this is really sad. Why can't we save any of these zombies? But whatever, let's go. Let's loot this place. Maybe we'll get something cool. I definitely believe that maybe in the future, developers will add here some sort of secret loot. You can't keep me in here that long. You know what? We're gonna kill him. This dude was probably tortured. I've seen so many of these torture chairs. So I think this was the place where they tortured him because there is the torture chair. And as you can see, when you go into our menu, I mean, in our crafting menu, you can see that there is this torture device, there is this chair, and it looks exactly like this one, so most likely they just had here some people, I don't know. Well, in any case, so far this dungeon is a bit more unique, because there is more places, wait, will I have to chop this down? Okay, this isn't, okay, it's all your fault, I died because of you, we're gonna kill both of them, because last time, one of them escaped, and this time, I'm not gonna let them escape, here go, let's do this, let's open up another chest over here, not the chest, but the countertop, whatever that is, and inside we're just gonna get some leather, not a big deal, let's, okay, I cannot actually as that door so I have to delete the clothes from this guy and after we delete the clothes now I will be able to open up the door and by the looks of it there are some zombies oh my god there's more doors are you kidding me look at how many doors there are I think most of them are just gonna wake up here I'm gonna wake up all of these fast riders and I will try to use here my spread shot on all of them just to save up some durability on the guns here go we dealt with these fast riders they have some phones not a big deal let's try to open that up and this is going to be totally empty just a small toilet room up the top we're gonna okay we're gonna open up that big door after let's open up the smaller door and there are just a couple of zombies so i think i'm just gonna deal with them quick it shouldn't be a big deal here go let's deal with this floater bloater now let's use the glock to finish that off and i'm running out of my set this is so annoying my set here literally just gets destroyed super quickly because it takes a lot of time to roam around between the zones and just zombies chip away all your durability from the armor so so far like i said loot isn't that great i haven't found here anything useful that i would go wow that was worth it you know we just got here a couple of bandages but something unique something really that much useful i I am not sure, but whatever. Let's open up here this big door and inside toxic spewer. Can I deal with the toxic spewer here with my torch? Like, is that gonna work? It doesn't look like, guys, this is a new toxic spewer, but we cannot actually tell him to get away with our torch. I think we need another zombie. Okay, let's deal here with the toxic spewer then just like that, because the torch apparently doesn't work. We just leveled up and we literally got nothing inside. Like, we cannot even steal this generator. So what's the point of killing the toxic spewer when he didn't even drop anything? That's beyond my comprehension, but whatever. Let's get this quiet gunner. Boom, another skill. And also, you can now spend 10 coins to get different skills. I don't really like that feature because, you know, like, it just it just makes this game more pay to win. Like, it already there are some people who cannot get, like, their burglar skills. And now you'll be able to spend with tail coins to get that. But again, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, I don't think it's something super bad. But still, now you can skip that thing with 10 coins. Again, I, I don't think it's super bad. But probably would prefer to be without it. But at the same time, I don't really care. So, yeah, I think we looted here full dungeon. Didn't really get anything from it, to be honest. Besides this one little broken zip gun and that's it so uh okay hopefully i didn't miss any rooms here and also i forgot to mention that i found that dungeon inside of the orange stone location so you can find these a bit better dungeons in the orange locations as well i'm not sure if they correspond if like you're gonna get better loot inside of the red zones and you're gonna get worse loot and like inside of those orange zones i'm not sure if that's really the case but i don't know found another dungeon finally let's take care of spread shot let's deal with these zombies and i am already stinking this is so Okay, this is gonna be probably a small, very small dungeon. Okay, let's go quickly inside of it. Again, I found this dungeon inside of the orange pine zone. I think I get more dungeons inside of the orange zones uh, rather than red zones. Oh, here we go. We got a Glock inside of the orange zone. So, yeah, we, we already got a Glock. This loot is already better than from that other dungeon that we got. Well, let's loot here another countertop or whatever that is and maybe we're gonna get some noise we just got some duct tape so whatever let's now descend lower inside of the dungeon and let's check it out what kind of a situation we're gonna get here maybe 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 we're gonna get here some sort of lurker or crawler crawler because i really want to check it out i want to see how it's like okay this is probably going to be that water dungeon okay this isn't okay this is the dungeon this is the water dungeon wait do you always get these water dungeons inside of the pine zones because i don't think i've gotten any other type of dungeons inside of these pine zone locations right okay whatever here we go let's deal with these zombies now let's loot the places i did take a couple of hatchets now so hopefully that will be enough to chop down whatever is inside of that here go some dudes are coming in let's deal with them still no bosses on top of the table we are gonna find some bandages okay that's kind of cool again finding bandages is kind of useful but the point is i think you're gonna use the same amount of bandages just to travel in that red zone or whatever other zone that you're traveling to and just to kill these zombies so i think that's what's gonna happen here go let's deal with these two zombies so far it doesn't look like there is a lot of the stuff here let's loot this minecart and hopefully behind that door we're gonna find the boss i would love it well let's go let's chop down the door over here 
the door is chopped down and we just got one copper ore, I guess. Uh, and inside of this room, we are getting nothing. Well, I can come inside here and yeah, there's totally nothing inside of it. So let's keep searching for a better dungeon, I guess. Finally, guys, we found another dungeon. I'm not even excited. It's seriously 45 Celsius now in this room. That's about like 113 Fahrenheit. And yes, indeed, I googled that. And oh boy, it's getting hot. Like, as you can see by my face, I am sweating. And uh, yeah, this isn't really that exciting. I haven't gotten a good dungeon. I It took it takes like literally 20 minutes just to find one dungeon. And finally, we found a bit different dungeon. <laughs> boy, we finally got a private keep out dungeon. I wanted to find it for a really, really long time. And hopefully this one is gonna have some sort of a boss because I want something new. Finally, we found it in another orange zone. So this isn't a dungeon from whatever other zone. Wait, did I loot this place? Nope, I did not. More zombies are coming in. Whatever, let's loot the place. I don't think he's gonna come in. Okay, he's already inside. Let's deal with that. I still have my torch. I still have everything. So now I'm gonna take my bandages, right? Let's take here some sort of an M16. Let's switch that up. And let's just jump. I can't reach it from here. Here, go, go down. I definitely think we need here a burglar skill to... Yes, indeed, because he unlocked the chains. So for that one, we needed hacker skill. And for this one, we need level three burglar skill. So actually now hacker skill is in the game. And I guess that's kind of cool. I think maybe in the future we're going to get some different thingies. But now let's go. Let's try to do this event. Okay, there's already one dude dead. Let's try to deal with those bad boys. And this dude just had some leather sets. Okay, really don't care much about it. Let's open up this door first. And uh, okay, inside we're just going to get some more dead dudes. Some more simple zombies. Let's try to deal with them. And this dude just had some dad set on him. Another one just had a couple of clothes. Not a big deal. Let's go. Let's try to loot the chests. And again, let's just see how many good and unique items we're going to get here. Well, I got some stuff. Got some bandages. Already pretty okay. Inside of that just a floater bloater with a rotten yokel okay that wasn't rotten yokel i keep confusing them okay this was a fast rider gotta get a habit of saying uh, uh Again, I already forgot how fast rider. Yeah, well, you can get here some bandages. I already got six bandages. And I mean, six bandages is already a lot. Like, it's not something easy. Here, let's open up another door. Uh, they came out all of a sudden. Can I help him out? We couldn't stop them. This dude is just gonna die once yeah. again. <laughs> Yeah, he just died and another dude is gonna come in. Can I deal with these dudes with my... No, I cannot. This doesn't work. Okay, so let's deal with them here with my M16. And uh, so far, they didn't see anything. And I think that last time in this room, I forgot to open up another chest here. But let's take this. Let's take another bandage. And last time when I made a video, I think the first video about dungeons, I forgot to loot this place. Exactly. And okay, this is just fast router. Not a big deal. And this is again going to be that torture room with the torture chair. Okay. 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 What else can I say? Let's get back here to the top. And I think I've already done this dungeon like that. And by the looks of it, I don't see here any of these lurkers or whatever their name is. Okay. This dude again just had some paints. Another fast router. Let's open up here the chest. And by the looks of it, there's just another dude, another countertop to loot. So this is a pretty big dungeon, but we got some dog food. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, loot gets a bit better. Let's open up here the chest and more, 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 more entrances. Okay, that's very cool. I'll try to get here to the top. And yeah, by the looks of it, we have nothing over here. So we're just gonna get three more rooms to loot. So let's go. Maybe we're gonna get a boss there, but I still don't think that I found a boss. I think boss is gonna be somewhere else. Okay, I think, okay, I won't be able to open all that up. So I'll try to spread shot all of them. Okay, yeah, I spread shotted most of them. That's pretty cool. Well, here we go. Let's finish them off just like that. And now let's loot this washing machine. Yes, indeed, we're gonna be looting here the washing machine. So let's do that. And inside of the washing machine, we're gonna get some more bandages. Well, we could take these patches and craft another bandage. Let's loot here under the bed. And some more pieces of cloth, some more bandages. So this place is kind of rich in bandages, I would say, right? Like, we don't use really that much to heal up here because I'm using guns, but obviously we're gonna use here. Wait, a fetid corpse. Obviously, that fetid corpse isn't gonna work with my thingy, right? Is it working? Nah, guys, that doesn't work. Uh, still, that fetid corpse is gonna shred me. So this is another boss, but I still haven't found the one that I can use my torch on. Here, go. this dude is dead and they don't drop totally anything, except that now there is a lot of gas. Wait, will I have to... Will this gas disappear? Or now will I literally need to... Okay. Yeah, I think the gas disappears. Okay, so this is definitely a pretty cool mechanic in my opinion. And again, this room doesn't have anything. It's not the first time that we have any, uh, that we have nothing here. Well, we got here a couple of bandages. I would say maybe even like more than 10. Close to a stack of bandages. Plus, if I picked up all of the pieces of cloth here, that would be worth it. So, I don't really know how much damage they do when you use here a melee weapon. But it's definitely gonna hurt. Yes, we found another dungeon and probably in the red location. This is gonna be probably the last dungeon of the day. So, let's try to deal with these bad boys. 
boys. Super quickly. Just like that. Here we go. All of them are dead. Now, let's go. Let's loot the dungeon. Hopefully, it is going to be at least something cool. This isn't going to be some sort of garbage. I want something new. I want something unique. This is going to be a metal hatch. So... Hey, 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 maybe we'll get something cool inside of that metal hatch. Some more zombies are coming in. Hopefully, I still have enough guns. Yes, indeed, we still have more guns than I'll be able to use here in these dungeons. So, yeah, inside of this table, we're gonna get already one M16. Pretty decent. Well, you can't say that the loot here is super bad, but I believe the problem with these dungeons arises that most of the people who go to farm, they aren't gonna really take that many guns, right? They aren't gonna take, like, these whatever too many hatchets, like, too many whatever other stuff, you know, and when they're gonna encounter a, a dungeon, it will be really hard to loot it so i think that's the biggest problem with the dungeons i was also thinking that it would be really cool you know if there is a dungeon and let's say there was a secret place where you can take let's say guns and weapons so this way even if you wouldn't prepare yourself you would still be able to loot this place because you would get here weapons for it but i don't know if that's idea really good just actually forget it it's trash <laughs> okay somebody just attacked me are you kidding me what? I was just talking here crappy ideas and this dude just attacked me. Whatever, here go. Let's take this pieces of cloth. Let's craft here some more bandages. I am literally, guys, sweating so much. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I am literally dying here. Crafted a couple of bandages. Let's just hop inside and hopefully this is gonna be the place where I will be able to use my torch. If no, then no, there's no way I'll be able to keep up. I've been recording here for way over an hour. And this is just another flooded dungeon. This is another garbage, probably. Well, whatever, here go. Let's try to deal with them. Gonna use here VSS just to roam through this dungeon faster because yep. here we go. Let's deal with those bad boys just like that. Boop, boop, boop. And show me if this is going to be the place with that whatever other dude. Here we go. Let's deal with them super quickly just like that with my VSS. Most of them are dead. Going to loot now the table. And most likely we're just going to get here a little bit of jerky. And yes, indeed. Yeah, we just got three jerky. Inside of this countertop, we're going to get some beans. Let's take that. And finally, this room has some sort of a chest. I don't think it had a chest before. This is the first time that I get a chest inside of the room. So let's open it up, baby. And we got one energy drink. Finally, we got that infamous energy drink that ev everybody been talking about that you can get inside of these dungeons. And I found it. That's pretty cool. You know, if you could get like one guaranteed energy drink all the time there, I think that would be more worth it. But here we go. Let's deal with those bad boys. Fast rotters. I don't see someone crawling out of here. That would be super cool if they just crawled out. You know, if there was this huge dude that I use my torch on. Well, he didn't show up. Maybe I'll be able to find him next time. Tell me if you found him and tell me if you tried to use your torch and if that worked. So I highly suggest you checking out this last Earth survival video where me, Starsnip, and JCF try to kill the Devourer. Or click here on the second card and you will go to my Visage Let's Play. It's a really, really cool horror game. So if you want to watch something in the evening, then I highly suggest you checking it out. Also, make sure to hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you will find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And make sure to drop that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet.